Yeah, just kind of a daily links video. Uh, post a link to the three channels: the economic channel, the Do Not God channel, and Vloggerheads. I guess just the channel, and you can look for the videos there. Uh, yeah, you know, just the usual stuff this week, video-wise. Um, the last video I did on the Do Not God channel was a little, little uh, bookmarklet thing you can use to, you know, fix the comment broken thing in the beta YouTube. So that's kind of useful. Uh, but uh, anyway. Um, so yeah, that's about it. And I just, I just figured I'll do a little bit on the subject of, uh, you know, anti-bullshit man did a video on circumcision, and uh, so I thought I'd do a video response saying fuck you. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I think I'll do the uns, I'll do the circumcised version of the video, <laughs> you know, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'll defend circumcision. What the hell? Uh, <laughs> you know, it's superfluous skin. Get real. I mean, this argument is just so stupid. And you read what people say, it's just so idiotic. Like, you're going to be able to make a choice later in life. Like, later in life, you're going to want to take a couple of months off sexually, uh, you know, to have some foreskin ripped off. Uh, that ain't going to happen. You're not going to choose it later in life. Uh, you know, very few men do that. Um, you have to have real incentive. Uh, you know, someone have to be broken. Uh, and that's the Ah, uh, you know, th that's where all the whole thing gets messed up because, because the only men you can really, who've really had it both ways are men who choose to have circumcision later in life and they usually do it for a reason and so they're usually satisfied, or 62% anyway, are satisfied having the surgery. Um, which doesn't tell you a hell of a lot. But anyway, there are issues here. It's not like, you know, people are just pretending like it's just, it's like sticking a knife in your head or something. Like it's, it's oh yeah, it's all bad. <laughs> and that's just bullshit. Um, you know, we're not we're not running around the woods like dogs anymore. You know what I'm saying? We don't need armor around our penises anymore. Uh, it, it seems logical that the male-dominated society that came up with this crap in the first place probably did it for a good reason. Uh, you know, probably worked for them, you know, <laughs> with the ladies or with something else, uh, you know, people wouldn't do this kind of shit just for the hell of it, like, oh yeah, let's uh, let's find something to cut up on our bodies, oh, yeah, let's cut up our penises, I mean, that ain't gonna fucking happen, so there's goddamn reasons, and uh, it probably does have to do with the little skanky bits, you know, I mean, it's not the, it's not the, <laughs> you know, it's not the kind of place where you want a bunch of folded skin, you know, fermenting during the day, um, it's not really good for your uh, sex appeal thing and <laughs> whatnot. Uh, but anyway, this whole thing, it seems like all this hysteria. Who the hell is it for? I don't see this, the crowds of circumcised men all screaming, I miss my foreskin, I miss my foreskin. I don't see that happening. So who, who are you advocating for? Um, you know, and, this, and they talk like it's mutilation, like, you know, they're like, like somehow the functionality is completely destroyed or you're losing something. Yeah, skin, uh, superfluous skin. <laughs> you know, um, it's just such bullshit. This is this is you know, there, there's a decision to be made, and unfortunately, the decision has to be made by the parents because if you can't really wait, if you wait, it's not going to get done. Like I said, what man is going to sit there and say, yeah, I can take some time off, <laughs> you know, two months, a month and a half anyway. Uh, it's big deal surgery later in life. It's little deal surgery after birth. Um, and uh, so whatever. I, I mean, I can't, you know, there's just no way to, to balance the equation. I mean, there's, there's this, it's, you know, it's one of these half dozen of the other kind of things. Um, some women express preferences. And uh, the women I've heard, <laughs> you know, uh, I am fortunate to fall into the proper preference. Um, and then, um, you know, as a circumcised male, I, you know, I'll admit it. Uh, yeah, it's just never bothered me. I've just never, you know, I've never had, oh, where's my foreskin? Where's my foreskin? No, it's never happened. And I've never been dissatisfied with, uh, you know, the way it is. <laughs> so, um, it's just, I don't know. It just seems like a silly appeal, um, and the rhetoric is just so excessive. Um, mutilation, they call it. <laughs> you know, that's their the word for it. Um, it. It's just going too far. It's just so, and it's so aggressive. And you're saying, well, why? Why? There's got to be a reason why 
they're worried about uh, uh, the victimization of victims who aren't whining in the first place. Uh, why is this important? Um, I just don't get it. And uh, quite honestly, I don't know what I would choose if I had a son. Uh, you know, there's there's a certain thing to be said for the, you know, um, uh, less maintenance, I guess you could say, right? <laughs> so there's something to be said for that. And, uh, yeah, but I don't know, you know. But I don't like all these other people saying they do know. That's That I'm suspicious of. People who are confident that they know what the right thing to do is, yeah, I'm suspicious of that. Uh, nature isn't like the place to go to say, how should a human being be built? Nature is an idiot, idiot. <laughs> you know. So this is just kind of bullshit. I mean, if you're going to make these arguments, you're going to start arguing, well, why do we shave our faces then? Why do we do a lot of things we do? Uh, because maybe we think they improve our lives or, you know, they make us more uh, pleasing to the people that have to be pleased by us. Uh, so there's arguments to be made here, and I just think this is just a bullshit argument. To throw this crap out there that you can just, oh, let somebody decide later in life. I mean, that's really dumb. But you're going to be used, you're going to be habituated to what you have, and it's just not going to work. Um, I mean, it's just kind of silly. Um, you know, you relearn how to use your penis. <laughs> Nobody wants to do that. <laughs> so, uh, fuck this conversation. It's a stupid subject anyway. It really is. I mean, you know, if some idiots are going to... I mean, pe people ought to worry more about the idea of having kids in the fucking first place. That's the important subject. Should I or shouldn't I have a fucking kid? Not whether or not... Circumcision is quite irrelevant to their destruction in the nuclear holocaust. I mean, it really isn't going to fucking matter whether they get their goddamn foreskin when they get blown up in the nuclear holocaust, you motherfuckers. Uh, you know, are consumed by our, our fucking uh, uh, excessively, grotesquely gluttonous society. Um, so let's deal with something real, some kind of real subject instead of this silly baby mutilation bullshit. <laughs> fucking assholes.